Okay, so there's something that works. Like, what is this shit over here? Okay, so Alright, we have joined the thingy, we are playing the game, alright, nice. So, yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Shark I'm back with another live commentary type of video where I try to explain a couple of things that are on my on my head and uh, try to explain a couple of things and, um, you know, just give you some thoughts and feelings. It's gonna, it's like an information type of video where I usually put like a, a, a gameplay and then me talking over the gameplay. But those are not live commentaries whatsoever. However, this time it is. This is a live commentary where I talk about, a, you know, a, a topic that I want to talk about and give my thoughts and feelings about it. Now, uh, oh wait, we don't have the slide shit. I, for I forgot about that. Now, I didn't play Dark Rise in a long ass time, so I thought let's throw that in there because it has a theme for it. Because uh, yeah, like. I'm pretty sure you can tell by the title, but we're gonna talk about the Victus crew, which is the trans shit crew, and oh, shit, wow, okay, two drops in one round, awesome, so, uh, I watched, the other day, I uh, watched my previous video where I, like, did this live commentary thing, and I told you guys to let me know if you want more of this uh, content, or, like, these type of content, and if you enjoy them, and I watched them back, and I was like, hmm, that's pretty actually funny to watch because I suck at it, but I still try it. So I was like, you know what, let's do another one. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm recording this one because I, I, you know, I did not that much research because I usually do some research, but this time, no. This time I didn't do that much research. I'm just going to give you my straight up thoughts and feelings about the Victus crew returning to Black Ops 4. Now, I'm not saying they, they, that it is confirmed in any way. I'm just saying that... It is kind of possible that the Victus crew, again, the Victus crew is um, the crew from Transit, that they can actually return back to uh, Black Ops 4 for us to play them. So, which brings up the next point. What do you actually think about that? Like, think about it. What do you think about the, uh, if they have a DLC for Black Ops 4, where we can play Victus crew, again, those guys from Transit, 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 same thing. Uh, maybe we just could play them and just, you know, have some fun. Oh shit, uh, that's a wrong weapon. Fuck me. Anyway, yeah, um, you may be like, hmm, I don't know, Victus crew, they actually sucked. And yes, they actually did. They really fucking did. Uh, but not Misty. Misty didn't suck, unfortunately. I liked her. Oh shit, okay. You know what, actually, let's use this fucking weapon. I never actually use those weapons. Um, yeah, but why do I have this feeling that we can actually see them back in Black Ops 4? But to tell you, um, I can tell you straight away that they actually kind of tease it. Uh, I'm not talking about the trailer or the uh, intro video for uh, the remastered version of Mob of the Dead, where you see them in those freezes kind of thing. Especially where um, Takio says, like, why do you have people in freezers? Towards Nikolai. Uh, not towards Nikolai, towards Richtofen. Um, no, I'm not talking about that one. They did tease a bit, but that was more for the storyline there. And don't worry if, if you're not familiar with the storyline, I'm not going to go into details with that. Uh, however, there are lots of videos out there that explains the uh, fucking things. Uh, but no, I'm actually going to talk about some other things and the first one is going to be that there is a chance for us to see them back in in, in oh, That we can actually see them back in Black Ops 4 Like I said, not because of the intro video for uh, Mob of the Dead. No, I'm talking about the fact that this is the best chance to actually throw them in there because if you think about it, the transit crew isn't really the best, but they're not the worst. It's just that the characters were like bad implemented into the game in a wrong time because I can talk about this the whole day and you may, be, you may not understand it after, my, uh, after watching this video, but if you just think about it, um, if you just think about the, the couple of things I'm gonna say right now, okay? The following things. So let's get started on with start off with the one. And the first one. So the first one is going to be um, the fact that Black Ops 2 wasn't the best game. Oh shit, I wanna get that one. 
Thank you. Now don't kill me now. Thank you. So can we actually make it? It's okay. Wow. Um. Yeah. The Black Black Ops Two wasn't obviously the best game, but it definitely wasn't the worst. Because whoa. Because um. You know, Black Ops Two had. Uh, like especially transit transit had a couple of things that they actually wanted to implement into the game however they couldn't finish the project for transit because of uh, restrictions of the power of the consoles now what I'm gonna talk about I'm talking about the fact that they had to remove a couple of things from like pretty much all of the things from transit in order to make it playable and have that smooth, kind of smooth 60 FPS going on uh, PS3 and Xbox 360. Now, the problem was that the p console wasn't too strong to handle those uh, textures, assets, and everything, and elements. So, yeah, they had to remove it uh, in order to make it playable. So, which brings up the next point. So, that's basically why the map transit, or Black Ops 2 Zombies, was like shitty. However... What if, what if you just don't think about Black Ops 2, right? Think about the other things that is pretty good. For example, Origins. Now, the map isn't that big, but it's not that small either. However, the main thing that I want to go for is to... What the fuck was that sound? But yeah, the main thing that I want to go with this story is... Or my point, the, the main point that I want to make... Isn't that the crew can return because of uh, the console can handle the PS4 and stuff can handle the power? No, but it's because of that. That that now is the best time to actually throw them in there because if you think about it, uh, when you played actually when I when I played Transit for the first time, I didn't knew anything about the uh, new crew. I didn't heard about the new crew. All I saw was a trailer. I was like, hmm, okay, what the fuck, and I was actually not really surprised I was more like disappointed because I didn't knew that that was going to happen shit fuck me fuck balls shit hell but yeah I wasn't expecting to get a new crew to replace the old crew at that time so that's why I actually was really not into the idea of a new oh I have still this weapon into the idea of uh, having a new crew to replace old crew, right? It was just a bad time for those characters to be in the game. Now, if you think about it again, now we know about the crew, we know their backstory, we know Stuhlinger, Misty, and stuff like that, and we know what's going on with those two, how they met, and what's binding each other towards each other. Now, keep that in mind, right? Keep in mind that we now know more than uh, yeah we we now know more than what we knew back in the day when we played Transit for the first time, right? Now keep that in mind and think about the next thing. Think about uh, Call of Duty or Treyarch dropping those characters, the Victor's characters again, the characters from Transit, dropping them into whoa into a DLC. I mean, in, into Black Ops 4 as a DLC, which is pretty cool. Now, if you ask me, it's it, it will work. I would definitely love to play them again. And, uh, you know, it's not that bad of an idea, though. Not because uh, of trans shit or whatever. No, it's more because of uh, just the... Wait, let me try this. Hold on, I need to focus, guys. Okay, it's not because of uh, whatever you have in your mind. No, it's just because of that I just now do know more about the stories and the backstories of these characters and I just know the characters really well. Uh, I mean pretty well, not really well, wow. Okay, I don't have, uh, can I do this? Okay, this is gonna be... Guys, this is PC, okay? Shit, fuck me. And he did. Now I need to uh, try this. I wanna. Is that a mystery box right there? Yep. Yeah. 
Oh, I did actually did it. Nice. Straight jump, baby. But yeah, now it, it is actually the best time to uh, play them because now we all know the... We just know the characters pretty well. Well, well enough to um, understand them and play them. So, which brings up another point, um, which also makes sense to play them actually because, you know, if you think about it, what if we can play, like, I'm playing Transit, uh, not Transit, but I'm playing Die Rise as the Transit crew, Victor's crew, again, Victor's crew, and I'm playing them, and I'm not having any problems because I'm used to them right now, so why not play them in um, Black, Ops 2, uh, Black Ops 4, I meant. Uh, because you know they could have done that in um, Black Ops 3 as well uh, kind of but that would kind of sacrifice a DLC right because you know it would have to be honest it would have uh, sacrificed a DLC so instead of sacrificing a DLC how are how are they gonna like with they I mean Treyarch how is Treyarch not sacrificing a DLC if they're gonna put Victus in a DLC so that we can play them well, because of what they said, they wouldn't. They they're not gonna do the regular season with um, like DLCs. Like it's not gonna have Black Ops Four is not gonna have. Oh, is it the ray gun? Oh my! F oh shit! But yeah, um, like I said, it's not gonna be the same as before, which means that, and and I quote. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna quote, but. I'm, uh, the following thing that I'm gonna say or tell you guys is the thing that actually came out of David Blundell's mouth or whatever. Sounds wrong, but just bear with me. So they, David said that they're not gonna do a four DLC in a year. No, they're gonna do and sp they're gonna go ahead and spice up a couple of things. Holy shit, this really cool sucks. But they're gonna spice up a couple of things, which means they're gonna be uh, the team is gonna do their best to give our uh, I mean give the community the players moi um, give them just more content so they they said for example uh, in, instead of um, four DLCs in a year they're gonna do like six or seven or maybe even eight I hate the fucking denizens dude I hate those fucking crawlers What's my second weapon? PDW. <laughs> Fucking hell. Holy shit, that was epic. Okay. Uh, so the missile box moved. Yep. Which means that we can move as well. And get my favorite weapon. Not that one. Oh shit. There we go. I think I lost something. Like a permanent perk or something. But um, yeah, we can get. Like now is the best time. And, and I said earlier, but now is the best time to actually play the characters and drop them in. Because, well, like I said. We got more DLC, we got more content, so why not drop the bomb? Fucking hell. <clears throat> but yeah, they said that, Treyarch said, or David said, that they're not gonna be like standard thingies for the DLC, so no, not only for DLC, they're gonna be uploading or putting on more effort and you know, just giving us more maps and more content, so including weapons and stuff like that. But content also means more players, so they can. Go ahead and drop some characters like the Victus crew. They can make them playable as a DLC, and uh, you know, it's play them. Like seriously, they can just play them. They have all the assets they need because of Blackout. The characters are there and stuff like that, which is pretty fucking cool and interesting in any way. Now, if you may be like, uh, no, thank you. I hate the crew. Yes, I actually hated them as well, but. I dare you to play transit right now okay go ahead and play transit right now and keep in mind that you hate transit right so uh, for example when the uh, when transit re was like released and everyone could have like play them and stuff I enjoyed it obviously it was amazing it was fucking amazing it was better than orgasm at the time <laughs> but uh, right now 
if I, uh, like not right now but uh, after like two not two years after like two or three weeks it was getting boring you know and stuff like that so I was like yeah no thank you it's not really the fun anymore if you know what I mean now obviously it's not gonna be the same but I hated it okay I hate I hated the game at the time and I hated the crew I hated the transit and stuff like that but later like I'm talking about fucking right now it's 2018 and I played the game in 2017 and I still play them I've, like every now and then I play them I go ahead and play transit some Call of Duty Ghosts and stuff I, I, yeah I enjoy them because that's why I said that, that I that's why I said I dare you to play them or play trans shit right now now if you go if you're going to play the game keep in mind just keep your uh, feelings that you have about the game when you hated it okay keep that in mind and go ahead and play it now I dare you that you won't hate it anymore because it's gonna be boring sure you're gonna be bored after a while but it doesn't mean it's like the worst map or whatever but I'm definitely I'm telling you here that for me personally I didn't really hated it because I give it a shot and I played it and of, uh, of course I'm gonna play I'm not gonna play the 24 7 now duh but the same goal uh, same go the same story goes for black as 4 or black as 3 it doesn't really matter if it's your favorite game or not but after a while your favorite game starts to suck for you because you will get bored now and that's normal the developers can't um, can't ignore the fact that their game is gonna be boring after a certain amount of time uh, it can be days can be weeks can be years um, but it's gonna happen right and they can't do anything to um, make it not boring or whatever all I can do is to extend the time that's getting boring with DLCs content and stuff like that or a who fuck a whole nother game for example if you have black as one you get black ops 2 black as 3 and black as 4 they know that the games are getting boring of course they know that anyway um, back to the transit crew and the point that I was trying to make is that yeah sure the game sucks and you know die is my favorite weapon but after a while it gets boring and um, if you go ahead and play transit right now with the feeling of oh, I hate transit it's the worst map go ahead and play it and tell me what the exp what you have experienced because I believe Holy shit, what the fuck? I'm making a point here. Dude, look at this. Okay, good. Okay, now what I need is to... Okay, fuck it. Is it in here? I need to... Um fucking thing bro I need some jug but like I said I'm talking for 20 minutes uh, around 20 minutes but dude like I said it's 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 not that bad oh is it milk kicks or is it a speed cock no this is milk kick that's milk kick yeah, I don't really need that but yeah dude Black Ops 2 isn't the best game, especially zombies. It's not the best um, characters and maps. Uh, well, they do have some of the best maps, to be honest, in Black Ops 2. But back to my point, the Victus crew might not be the best. But now we know the backstory. Now we know how they are and how they meet, uh, have met the, uh, each other. And not the, just the fact that we already know them and know how they actually are and stuff like that. Um, it isn't really a big surprise anymore if you drop if 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 Treyarch drops the these uh, characters back into a map as a DLC, which means that I'm pretty cool with it. I'm pretty cool. I I would actually love to play them in Black Ops Four, and I said earlier that they could have done that into uh, you know put them as a DLC on Black Ops Three, but that would have sacrificed a DLC because you know they did the standard four maps or four DLCs in in one year season pass you know but now they don't have a season pass they have something else that they call I don't know what they call that but yeah they just have more than four maps more more fucking thingies 
you know, it's just, it's just, they're just gonna give you more content uh, as never before, which is really amazing and actually does fucking support my my point that I'm saying and telling and keep telling you guys that it is possible. It is still possible to um, play as the Victus crew. So yeah. Dude, fucking Dire Rise is so easy map, like it's one of the easiest maps. And I loved it. And yes, Buried is easier, but I don't really play Buried that much. Um Yeah guys, so I'm pretty much talked out and I don't really have a couple of things to say. Um I don't know. Uh, we can actually talk about a different thing now that I am uh, have like upgraded my weapon. We can talk a bit more about uh, the PC uh, development of the PC team. So about the PC team, they actually have like a whole different crew at Blizzard working on the PC uh, game, like Black is Four for the PC. Yeah, they got a whole different team working on that, just because of the fact that if you like normally. If you have a video game, right, like older Call of Duty and older games and stuff like that, um, pretty much, pretty much all of the games, all of the games, are first developed for the console and then later developed for or converted or developed for, uh, yeah, converted for the PC and then, and they and they just fucking go through it and then fix the bugs and stuff like that, fix some textures and stuff like that. However, if you do it that way. That will suck because the PC has a mouse and keyboard and the console doesn't, so which fucks it up. It's uh, it's a long story short. You can't really go ahead and make a console game and then convert the console game into a PC game. It just makes no sense. Sure, it may it may have uh, it, it may make sense to you, but in reality, it doesn't really make sense. Um, so yeah, but now that they have a different crew working, like a whole fucking team working on the PC game, they actually made a trailer for that, or promo kind of thing, let me drink. Yeah. But yeah, now that they have a whole crew, now that they have a whole crew working on the game, that would be amazing, because, you know, you, you, okay, why is he, uh, but, for example, if you have a whole crew or team working on um, a game to convert it in a correct way so it doesn't really mess it up the PC experience uh, that you can get, which is really fucking powerful. Um, if you yeah, if you don't have a crew working on it, or if you just don't really focus on PC and uh, make it better on PC or optimize or whatever, you will have a chance that um, even the newer uh, laptops and gaming PCs would like have poor performance or decent performance at gaming the video game be just because it's not really optimized for PC but now they have Blizzard which is fucking amazing I'm not gonna go ahead I'm not gonna fucking talk about Blizzard right now maybe I can do it later but um, okay let me throw this monkey bomb it's getting a bit Tight. Uh, but yeah, I'm not gonna talk about Blizzard. Oh shit, okay, nice. But yeah, now that they have a whole crew working on the PC uh, a version of the game, that means better optimization. Now, optimized for best result and best performance means, it's, it's, I already said it, it's for best performance now, which means that you can have a decent PC or a high-end gaming laptop and you can pretty much play the game now I can I can go and talk as a developer for example um, sometimes if you fall underneath a map or you glitch through a map or whatever or through a wall you will see it through textures that's because this face of a texture like this building or oh, let me show you the, yeah I'm gonna show you an example r real quick so this right here, okay, this do not enter, why is it so low gravity, hold on, low gravity, wow, why is it so low, full name, oh wait, I'm advanced, extra high, oh shit, okay, high is the max, 
Okay, that's max. Yes, on high. Nothing changed. Okay, so yeah, the part of the PC thingy or console isn't, isn't too strong thingy. Anyway, um, if you take that picture as example, like this texture kind of thing, this sign, for example. Hold on. Okay, so I'm facing this sign from from uh, the front, right? I'm facing this sign. It says, "Do not enter authorized person." personal only right now if I go ahead and turn around and take a close look at that from behind I would have I will I will not see the picture and start in the sign I will I would just fucking look through it like if you know what I mean that's because of the front is um, has a texture but the back it doesn't have any um, texture you can just it's like invisible which is a optimization so that your computer doesn't really need to um, doesn't really need to handle that much or render that much so it's easier and you know you will have a better performance good optimization is a pro that's why you sometimes or pretty much once in your lifetime you will fall through the map uh, sometimes if you play any game that's because of the um, the ground where you stand on has a texture but underneath it there's like nothing it's just the empty thingy Again, optimized. Um, yeah, but don't worry about falling through the map. So uh, it's like very small, but it, it, it will happen eventually. Or you can like find a glitch for that. Um, but yeah, like I said, whole team on Blizzard working on it. It's fucking great because I'm pretty sure that my laptop can handle it because you know my laptop can handle Blackest Three and Max settings, even though it's not really that the best optimized game for PC but it still can handle it on the max settings which and I believe that you know Black Ops 4 has a very very strong chance to be one of the best games of 2018 and 2019 maybe but nah, 2018 that will have a awesome awesome performance on the PC like I truly believe so um, but yeah, anyway, now that I've talked a couple of things, uh, like I talked about the, the Victor Screw, uh, make them playable on um, Black Ops 4 as a DLC, and I talked about the team and some other things, uh, like the PC uh, version of the game, uh, which is actually the end of this video. Now, if you did enjoy, I'm going to play a little bit more um, after the video, because I'm going so good. Um, but if you actually enjoyed this content, and you want me to... And you want me to do more of those uh, where I do a live commentary, try my best to actually talk and give you the information, give, give you guys my thoughts and feelings about certain things. Now if you like these type of content, go ahead and smack the like button and definitely, definitely comment down below to let me know that you do enjoy these. Now, I did watch my own video where I talked about the Victus crew and I was like, hmm, I actually liked it, so let's do another one. So that's why I did this one as well. And that's why I also didn't really do that much of research. Oh shit, okay. I should actually pack a bunch of my other weapon as well. Anyway, uh, yeah, if you enjoy... Oh shit. So yeah, if you... I was like silent. But yeah, if you enjoyed this uh, content, go ahead and smack the like button. And you know, if you want more, definitely, definitely let me know. And you, you can leave a comment down below, but I also have some social media accounts linked in the description box below. Uh, including some, uh, let me see, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, uh, our Discord server, um, my PSNs, and let's see what else, what else, what my Steam, and some other couple of things. Oh, and some shout outs to some crew, all of my crew members and moderators and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much done talking right now. I talked about. 37 oh, what the fuck was that I thought someone joined so yeah, I, I don't have a knife there yeah, I do have a knife but not a strong one hmm but yeah um, again what do you think about the uh, topic that I've talked about what do you think about making Victus Group possible and playable as a DLC in Black Ops 4 do you agree do you disagree let me definitely let me know I do wonder and I will fucking read your comments 
I, I do wonder uh, your side of the story. See what you have to tell me, bro. Shit. Um, but yeah, and also, while you're at there, what do you think about the PC development? Like the PC uh, version of Black Ops 4. Hopefully it's gonna be big. It looks, it definitely looks like, it definitely looks promising and stuff like that, you know. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I will catch you guys on the next one. And um, if there's anything that I missed out, go ahead and let me know with the comment section down below. If there's anything that you want me to talk about, like f uh, if there's a DLC for an upcoming game uh, or, or fuck off. Uh, if there's a game or DLC or whatever and you want me to is there any topic that you want me to talk about and do this type of video on that one comment that down below or just contact me and uh, you know I will do my very best and we can work things out now we can also do like a video where we both play a game and talk about the same topic and you know stuff like that I'm just giving you guys an idea you know we can play a game that has something to do with the topic that we're going to talk about in any way and we can uh, both talk about it and I will record our vocals, sexy vocals and the game as well so yeah it would be pretty interesting though guys if you if, if there's anyone that plays on the PC or PS3, PS4 it doesn't really matter contact me I'm definitely willing to record a, a, a further topic if you have one or whatever uh, we can definitely talk about a topic no problem Oh shit, okay, that's the end of this video and the game. Shit, okay, there we go. Um, but yeah, dude, Black Ops 2 is so easy. Oh, nice. Okay, but yeah, seriously, that's it for today's video, dude. I, 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 do ve I try very hard to focus and play the game and tell the things about the topic that I want to tell about and uh, you know it's it's kind of a pain in the ass it's a live commentary guys everything can happen in live commentary never ever forget that one bitch no I'm just kidding anyway thank you for watching I'm gonna play this uh, a bit now so what the hell Okay. Did I find a new promo perk or something? I think I found a new promo perk. Okay, I want to see this shit in action. Hold on. Actually, let's see if I can pack a punch this bitch. Oh shit. Okay, great, awesome. Best perk ever. The, yeah, implement that in Black Ops 4 for fuck for fuck's sake. I'm done! What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you for watching this awesome video. And I quickly want to let you know before you go, click on the left video where it says previous. That will bring you to my previous funny moments video. And if you click on the right, that will take you to the latest requested video. If you did enjoy the content, go ahead and smack that like button. Comment down below if you have a request or anything else. With that said, I'll get you on the next one. Peace.